welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to share a recipe for beijinhos de coco, also known as coconut kisses or coconut balls. Four ingredients, so delicious. This is well known in Brazil. Uh, beijinhos de coco is very well known in Brazil. Our friends in Brazil have come up with this recipe and it's been passed on, passed on, and a lot of people make beijinhos de coco different ways, but it almost tastes the same. So I'm gonna show you the way I make beijinhos de coco coconut kisses step by step. So stay with me and let's get to baking. Let's get started in making the beijinhos de coco or coconut balls. We're gonna start off by placing one can, which is 300 milliliters of sweetened condensed milk in a saucepan. To the condensed milk, I'm adding two teaspoons of unsalted butter and I'm placing it into the saucepan. And to that, I'm adding three tablespoons of heavy cream and I'm using 18% cream. Now I have three of my four ingredients in the saucepan. I've just turned the heat on to a low to medium heat. I'm going to stir together the mixture to make sure it's well combined so it doesn't burn at the bottom of the saucepan. So I'm just going to wait about a minute or two until the butter melts and I'll show you the next step. It's been about a few minutes. You can see that the butter has melted and it's coming together nicely. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir before I add my last ingredient. Now for the last ingredient, I'm adding one cup of shredded coconut that is unsweetened. You have enough sugar in the condensed milk. You don't need to add any more sugar. So the unsweetened shredded coconut works out perfectly with this recipe. So you're gonna stir it to combine and now this mixture is going to thicken. Now this is a very important step. You wanna stay by the stove, constantly stir until the mixture thickens. And I'm gonna show you what the consistency looks like once it thickens. And I'm gonna be stirring for about eight to 10 minutes. The sweetened condensed milk and coconut mixture has thickened and now at this point I'm going to turn off the stove and move on to the next step. Now for the next step I'm going to place the mixture while it's still hot on a dish or a platter. Now once I have the mixture on the platter I'm going to spread it out evenly just as I'm doing here. For the next step, I have my mixture spread out evenly on the dish and what I'm going to do is place plastic wrap right on top and I'm going to place it in the refrigerator for one and a half to two hours. Now for the next step, the mixture is out of the refrigerator, it's firmed up and it's cold. I'm going to remove the plastic wrap, I won't be needing that. And I'm going to set that aside for a second and show you what I need for the next ingredients. Here I have one and a half cups of unsweetened shredded coconut. And I'll be using this to roll the Beijing Yuzhen once they are formed. And next I have here half a teaspoon of unsalted butter at room temperature. And I'll show you what you'll need this for. And you'll also need some mini paper cupcake liners. Now for the next step, I'm going to take a little bit of the butter rub it in my hands and using a teaspoon I'm going to take a little bit of the mixture place it in my hands and roll it to form a ball and once I have the ball formed I'm going to place it into the coconut and continue rolling the coconut balls for the next step I'm going to take the ball roll it into the coconut and you wanna make sure that your coconut ball is completely coated. And then once it's formed and it's coated with the coconut, you place it into the liner just like that. And you just continue on to the next one. Here 
Here are my Beijing de Coco coconut balls, and they're ready to be served. But before I serve them, I like to place them in the refrigerator to chill, or you can even make these the night before and serve them the next day. The Beijing de Coco are an absolutely delicious treat and a perfect summer dessert. And here is my Beijing de Coco, my little taste of Brazil, a quick and easy dessert. Now let's take a bite into the Beijing de Coco. So tasty, full of coconut, and a perfect coconut delight. And there you have it. That's how you make Beijing de Coco coconut balls or coconut kisses. Uh, so delicious. As you can see, it's very easy to make this recipe. Uh, you can keep the Beijing de Coco or coconut balls in the refrigerator until you're about to serve them. I hope you all enjoyed the recipe today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.